What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Design Theater. Today we are looking at the artist Robbie Trevino. Typically I'm using a, I'm looking at comic artists because I am a comic artist. But I'm also looking at like concept artists, I'm looking at all sorts of stuff. I even have a analysis series on the Blade Runner film because I'm trying to understand story. Because all of these things work together to make you a better artist. But today I want to share this guy's work with you. His name is Robbie Trevino, and this guy is insane. He's so good. And he really shows how much you can do with very, I don't want to say simple stuff, because this stuff is deceptively simple, right? There's expert level of design in his work, right? So like if we look, for example, at which I'm just going to use a mouse, I'm not going to use my my pad today. But if we look at these three pieces, we can see how he's using different elements and he's mixing up different different things, right? So he has like these these diagonal lines that are going up on either side, and then he's got these vertical lines that are going up that are contrasting against these diagonal uh, armor plates that are going down. So he has that in both of these pieces, and then when it comes to the top of them, he completely changes it up with these kind of back things here, with the arms, he does the arms differently, he even uses a different shape. You know, this is much more triangular shape here, you know, like we've talked about on this channel before, taking one shape and then having having that repeat throughout the drawing. So you could say that this is a triangle shaped drawing. This one I would say is also triangle shaped, but he pushes it in a different direction. Instead of having one big triangle like we have here, he has kind of like the cylindrical sort of thing going on here. And then he has these smaller triangles. And I love the way that he did this because it's like this, it's like this being that is emanating from here, and then we have stuff like this going over, right? Really cool, because so like when you when you look at it that way, you can see that he's really playing around with very basic elements, and he's just contrasting them against one another. And then we see the same thing here, uh, similar concept to this one over here, but obviously he takes it further, and he he makes these these structures. He puts these structures next to him. And uh, and then uses like the webbing of the blood between them. It's so cool. I, lo I just love his work. His stuff just feels so fresh to me. And as we, as we get into this video here, you'll see, such as in this one, I mean, he doesn't he doesn't render a lot of stuff. He's just using very simple line arts and simple flats which shows what you can do with a comic book type style and he's also using like a noise filter over his whole drawing as well which gives it a, a texture but yeah I mean like this pull back all the way again like his stuff is so readable and it's just so creative stuff like this you're like god it just it, it just makes me want to draw as soon as I see stuff like that. Again, like this is this feels like some comic book type work. Very cool. Um, you know, he doesn't he doesn't need a lot of detail, even though there is a lot of detail in this piece. But he's not he's not trying to give a realistic render. But it feels very realistic because he's he's able to yeah he's really able to show the forms. With the with the light that's hitting the that's hitting these forms, I'm probably going to do a longer, more in-depth study of this guy's work in my tutorial series because I do tutorials on this channel as well. Uh, this is from his personal project. Uh, I know he's he's putting together an art book and it's like his own universe and whatnot. Um, I actually saw a demonstration of him on his 
I think it was on schoolism. Um, and he talked a little bit about his process. Really cool. Just strange stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, every every time I look at different artists, they inspire me in different ways. You know, like each artist has their own thing that they do. And they're all so vastly different from one another. I love the lighting that he creates here. This is really nice. This blue lighting. He's got this head, this weird looking head back here. Very cool. Again, I mean, like, compositionally speaking, like, his stuff really speaks to how simple you can make the composition. You know, like, you don't... Sometimes when we look at guys that are, like, super detailed and super rendered, we think, like, oh, man, you know, I need to, I need to be able to render like that. But you don't. You don't need to be able to... You don't need to do it like that. This guy has his own way of doing it. And you can see that he's, he's dropping in colors and whatnot that are, you know, they're not super rendered, but he's using a textured brush to, to kind of blend things together. Very cool. Again, I mean, like the, the creativity that goes into this. Like, what is this guy doing? He's sitting in a giant hand. This guy has like a giant he has like a brain with for his hands and then a face is coming out of that it feels like something off of like a tool oh, okay we can see it on this side too so there's like a, a brain and then there's like a head in front of it and they have like scrolls with them so what does that mean the scrolls are growing out of his back i have no idea if this is like an album cover, something like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I love this. And then I think this is the last one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a longer tutorial this next week, breaking down some of the design decisions this guy is making because he's just, he's just so damn good. This is something he did for Magic the Gathering. Yeah, let me see, is there anything else? No. Yeah, he, he's somebody you can look at for world building, somebody you can look at for creativity, you know? Because we often look at comic artists, and especially if you're looking at manga artists, which I look at a lot of manga artists, their styles can all kind of blend to be the same a little bit. But if you take inspiration from guys like this, then your stuff starts to really take on a, a totally different feel to it. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for checking out this video. If there's an artist it is that you would like for me to cover, uh, or if there's something you would like to see in a tutorial, please feel free to post it in the comment box. Like and subscribe, and uh, you guys have a great day. Take it easy.